With just weeks into one of the world's biggest golfing competitions, it already looks like Litchfield boasts one of the sport's most impressive victories. Whittington Golf Club have reached an agreement with High Speed 2 to stop plans to demolish the club in order to build a railway line running from Manchester to London. The initial project was set to completely dismantle the 130-year-old golf course, but after six years of protests and disapproval, the day has finally come where both parties are on an even par. The plan is to commence work as soon as possible on the construction of a new clubhouse, um, which we would hope to be operational sometime during 2018. Uh, that will then permit HS2 to demolish the existing uh, clubhouse. Uh, in parallel with that, we'll begin, um, we will acquire the land over which we have an option uh, and we'll begin construction of uh, five new golf holes. It's most definitely an inconvenience. Um, it, I, we, would, we would not be unhappy if the whole project went away, um, but uh, if it is going to happen, we want to come out the other side in as good a shape as we can. A confirmed date for when HS2's work will start is yet to be set, but Whittington Golf Course are hoping to start and finish work on their new plan within the next three years, meaning that most of the golf course will remain the same. This does mean building a new clubhouse though, as HS2 plans to dismantle the current one, which has been there since the Second World War. But Whittington are keen to hail the conduct of HS2. HS2 have acted very responsibly in our view over the whole process. I mean it's very time consuming getting a government body to move quickly. It doesn't happen. But they have acted responsibly, yes. Yeah. I think we were cautiously optimistic. Um, you never know at the end of the day, but I think we always felt that we had a just case and that we could arrive at a solution. Given a will with H, you know, by HS2, if you like, and I think our strategy of um, working and collaborating with HS2 has has helped us in this respect. The hope of HS2 completely scrapping the idea of running the rail line through the golf course didn't quite go to plan, but the fact that the course is staying means that they have reached their target. Whittington places immense importance on the younger generation, and those at the club feel that the latest twist in the story is vital for the future of golf in the Midlands. We are putting a lot of time into junior golf, we're putting a lot of money into junior golf. That is the future. We, we have a very old population in, in a lot of golf clubs. We're not dissimilar to any, any other golf club. We, we have an ageing population. We need to get people more involved. We need to think of different styles of golf as well as just the eight, full 18 holes. We're looking at different styles, so nine hole golf, or six hole golf just competitions to, to try and get the juniors and get the people interested so that you don't have to come here and spend four or five hours, you can come here and spend an hour, two hours or whatever and get some quick golf in. Many people here at the golf club would probably admit that in an ideal world the railway line wouldn't be coming through at all but at the same time are pleased to have reached the compromise and with over 100 years of history it looks like a new era is in full swing. Aaron Wiggins for Big News.